Hello and welcome to this edition of Designing Spaces. I'm Debbie Marie. And I'm Wayne Stavsky and we've got a great show for you today. We sure do. On Designing Spaces, it's all about your space. And today we have some great tips on protecting your space as well as organizing your space. And we're going to show you how to upgrade your space both inside and out. And mm -hmm. we've got a few tips if you're looking to change your space. Always a good point. It's all coming up right now on Designing Spaces. on today's show, we're going to talk about how to protect your space. You know, natural stone and tile have become such a growing trend in homes today. And I read that natural stone is the fastest growing surface, and it's not only good for floors, mm -hmm. it's good for many other areas as well. And True. tile, well, that's been popular for a long time. Both are extremely durable but not maintenance free. That's true, but I found out with the correct treatment, natural stone and tile can be protected and last a long time. We're here at this beautiful home filled with all this natural stone. Now, I don't know a lot about this subject, but there is somebody that does. Albert Salvo from Miracle Sealants Company. Albert, welcome to Designing Spaces. Well, thank you for having me. Oh, it's our pleasure. Now, look at all this beautiful natural stone. Tell us a little bit about this. Well, I think before we can talk about the different variations, uh, it's important for our viewers to understand that there are literally thousands of different types of natural stone in place today. It's important to understand the different characteristics of the stone that you're working with before the proper maintenance and protection products can be utilized. All right, well, that sounds good. And being that there are thousands, let's go throughout the rest of the house and see what they have. Let's go. Okay. All right, well, in the kitchen, they have granite and they have marble. What are the different characteristics of natural stone? Well, that's a great question, and the different characteristics as they relate to a kitchen would be first the different absorption levels of mm -hmm. natural stone. Uh, all stone is, por is porous, but some is much more absorbent than others. Uh, there are marbles that will absorb staining agents or water immediately, while mm -hmm. there are other denser materials that will actually uh, repel them for a little bit longer. And that's important to know in a kitchen, because if you put this or th change these, it would be different, right? Correct. Okay, so tell us a little bit about the backsplash, the marble. You know, what's the difference between that and, and the granite? Well, in the case of the uh, marble backsplash that, we, that they've used here, uh, that is an example of an uh, appropriate application where it is on a backsplash as opposed to being on the countertop. Mm -hmm. If it was used on the countertop, it would be susceptible to the acids that are in foods or in wine. For example, if you left a wine glass on top of a marble, it would leave a dull spot underneath. Mm -hmm. Whereas in the case of granite, mm -hmm. where it is an inorganic material, it is basically acid, acid resistant and therefore why it is appropriate uh, for a countertop. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and continue with the rest of the house. Let's okay. see what they have. All right, well, here's yet another place where we'll find natural stone in the bathroom. Yes, in this example, Deb, you can see that the homeowner chose a polished marble for their countertop, uh, which poses a few extra challenges in that, as I explained in the kitchen, polished marble being acid sensitive, they'll have to be careful, extra careful with putting wine glasses down without a coaster, for example. In the shower over here, you can see that they used a beautiful cross-cut travertine which, uh, without properly protected, could pose some unique challenges. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure a lot of people opt out of putting natural stone or tile because of the upkeep. And that's a what they're thinking. Absolutely. Right. And, and one of the advantages of, the, of our products is that you can use materials in areas that you wouldn't use it otherwise. That's great. Yeah, peace of mind. Absolutely. All right. Why don't you show me what you're talking about? Let's go take a look at how the products work. That'd be great. 511 Impregnator is a natural look penetrating sealer that's designed to protect all porous surfaces. Uh, when it is applied to the material, it is actually absorbed into the substrate, so it's not a surface coating that sits on the surface and requires additional maintenance. 511 Sealant Enhance is very similar to 511 Impregnator in that it is a penetrating sealer. It's just that this product is mm -hmm. added color enhancement properties to give color, as you can see in right. our... That looks great. It looks like, you know, brand new versus really, really old. <laughs> and I think what we're, what we're finding is that homeowners love the non-reflective properties of a tumbled stone or a non-polished stone, but they want color. 
without the reflectivity. Mm -hmm. And it's taken years and years of research for us to develop a product where we could get color without getting the reflectivity. This particular product has the same properties. It's going to be resistant to oil and water stains. It's going to make the surface harder. It's going to make it less slippery. It just has the benefit of added color. And if you look at it, like in our example of the 511 impregnator, the treated side repels the water mm -hmm. while the untreated <gasps> side absorbs. Look at that. that is amazing. This is totally beating up. Wow. So if you can imagine that that is, you know, bacon grease right. or some type of a food grease. It's going right into it. And it's going to be ruined. Wow. And many times people that put these beautiful materials in places like kitchens that are not aware of mm -hmm. these types of products actually ruin them and they have to tear them out. All right, now we're talking about protection. So what about maintenance? Well, I brought a few of our maintenance products here today. Maybe we can uh, start outside and look at one of them and maybe finish up in the kitchen. Okay, sounds good. That's a good idea. Al, for surfaces like this that have already been sealed, what do we use for everyday cleaning? Well, in the case of countertops, uh, we've specifically designed CounterClean, which is designed to be used on polished granite or marble. It can be used on ceramic tile, mm -hmm. and it's designed to be used on a daily basis. Okay, now what about for the kitchen? Can you use the same product? Well, we have a little bit different product for the kitchen that has some unique properties to it. Why don't we go take a look? I was going to say, let's go see. Okay. Well, Deb, these are the products that I was referring to mm -hmm. as far as use in the kitchen on the countertop. Uh, we have two products here. One is our Miracle Disinfectant, and the other is our Miracle Wipes. Uh, one is designed to be sprayed on and mm -hmm. wiped off, where the other is a convenient wipe that can be pulled out and utilized. These were specifically designed for antibacterial and disinfecting. Uh, in fact, when these products are used in conjunction with our penetrating sealer. They're actually effective in removing E. coli, which really? is a big issue, yes. Well, that's a very big benefit. And I like that it comes in two forms, because sometimes you want to spray, but I think these are, can I see these? Absolutely. I think these are great. That way, if you have something on the countertop, a quick cleanup, you can use those. They're, they're very easy to use. Mm -hmm. You just pull them out uh, and wipe. Now, do you need to dry, or you just use them and go? It's not necessary. They're designed mm -hmm. to be used by themselves, and uh, they should air dry without having to use anything. And does it matter how often you use them? Uh, we prefer that you actually use them as often as possible. <laughs> I'm sure you do. Albert, thank you so much for being here on Designing Spaces today. It's been my pleasure. Thank you.